Many field geologists, they get fixated on the details and the observations and the facts. But I love ideas. I love big ideas. And I love testing them. So I like the details, but I also like the big ideas. Shedding light on the history of Earth is a dream shared by scientists and humankind alike. The theory that the Earth's outer layer consists of a number of large plates known as plate tectonics, phenomena such as continental drift that are caused by the subduction and movement of these plates are unique to the Earth in the entire solar system. The idea that plate tectonics existed as far back as the Precambrian era, more than 500 million years ago, had not been proven scientifically. Paul F. Hoffman is a geologist who conducted field surveys covering nearly 100,000 square kilometers of Arctic Canada, demonstrating that plate tectonics existed in the Precambrian era using data from surveys and a vast volume of written records. In his early childhood, Hoffman spent a summer vacation in his parents' cabin without electricity or running water and became obsessed with collecting minerals outdoors. During his first year of summer vacation at university, a life-changing event occurred. This was his summer job, helping with geological surveys. He went to meet the director of the Ontario Geological Survey. Well, he looked me up and down and he said, uh, have you ever been in a canoe? He was checking out my physique, I think. He said, you'll do, buy two pair of boots and a train ticket to Sioux Lookout. It turned out we were doing geological mapping, mostly on the lake shores. Geological mapping is like the anatomy of the Earth's skin. Okay, and you can tell a lot about the lifetime of a person from studying their skin. The Earth history is also preserved in its skin. His first field work involving scientific surveys of rocks combined with physical labor captivated him. Biologically, we evolved to be hunter-gatherers. To be able to combine your biological makeup with our great cultural thing called science, to me, was, was the best of both worlds. Later, he embarked on field work in Namibia, taking part in new research on the snowball earth hypothesis. This was the theory that the entire Earth was covered by ice in the past, nearly wiping out all life forms. If this were true, how can today's environment be full of diverse lives? Once this happens, how could it ever become unfrozen as the glaciers would reflect nearly all sunlight? The common idea at the time was that such events had never occurred. Hoffman, however, conducted highly precise geological surveys and analysis, focusing on carbon isotopes in Namibia. He demonstrated that the global freeze did actually occur, nearly making all life forms extinct and that later thawing occurred from the greenhouse effect of carbon dioxide released by volcanoes. Through his long years of investigation, he managed to overturn conventional wisdom. If you have a problem, the first thing you should do is take two steps backward, okay? Because very often when you don't understand something, it's not because you don't have enough detail, it's because you're lacking the broader context. Hoffman, from his unique perspective, with an overview of matters and through his perseverance in undertaking field work on an enormous scale over a long period of time was able to provide insights to many of the key questions relating to the roots of the human race. <laughs>